What's up guys, Genesis King here, and welcome back to our Stellaris Star Wars Fall Republic playthrough as the Mandalorian clan. So we are picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode. Thank you all so much for the comments, tips, and suggestions on the last episode. It is greatly appreciated. Please do keep it coming. And one of those tips was, hey, when you go in and do your planetary management in between episodes, you probably ought to drop some resource silos. We'll go ahead and drop that. So what I did do is I actually went in and every single planet in the frontier and Mandalore sector, I've gone ahead that had a build slot available. Um, I went ahead and dropped a resource silo. So in 60 days, we should see our storage capacity for all of our resources jump by a significant amount. Um, and I, you know what, it's role play wise, we've decided, you know, we've got all this territory to manage. We need to be able to have more than 73,000 alloys. We need to be able to build and rebuild rather. Uh, if we lose two entire fleets at war, we need to rebuild it just like that. So we're up in our storage capacity. Um, so all of that has been queued up as you can see over here. Um, so we're going to get that going. We are almost done with this war and we had it. We had it very briefly at the end of the last episode. Uh, and then managed to go back to zero, so they rejected it. So yeah, I don't know quite what's going on with that. Um, but we've got a planet being invaded here, here. Uh, we are engaged in a fleet battle here. So this should be over very, very quickly today. Let's take a look here. So yeah, we're at zero. Once we take the planet, it should go positive. So I'm pretty sure what happened last time is we had it. We engaged in a battle. Um, and then we lost a ship or two and it pushed it back down to zero. So we'll see what happens after we do this invasion, but it should be over pretty quickly. Um, with that in mind, I do think that we need to decide what we are going to do next. And there are a couple things that we need to do in the immediate future. Um, one of those being that we need to redesign our ships. Uh, potentially redesign, I guess, is what I'm saying. Um, we picked up a lot of parts, um, a lot of different um, things we can throw on our ships. God, I wish this had a model. I really do. Um, so we need to go in to decide, like, what what do we want down here for these different ship types? So it may stay the same. It may not. Um, but we at least need to go take a look at it, which, like I think I mentioned last episode, um, would be something good to do while our fleets are returning from uh, from this war. Um, it has also been suggested that potentially we integrate one of our vassals. I, I don't think we want to do that. I, I've got enough planets to manage right now. I don't know. Or I, I would assume that the AI is no better at managing its planetary resources um, as its own empire versus being in a district. Um, so I don't know. We might, we might not, but I, I don't think we will for now. All right, there's that. Let's send it. Hope to God we don't lose ships. Um, defense platform, whole points is done. Let's unpause and let that get back to us. Um, minerals from jobs. Granium armor weave, lateral thrusters. Weapons production base. That's what we need right there. Uh, naval cap plus 30. <laughs> Meh. Hey, we beat the huts. The best possible outcome. Very good. All right, let's pause. Um... Ooh, fleet command limit. Yes, please. Okay, so let's get our fleets. Now, it would be very easy just to move them down here and take on, say, the Trade Federation or something like that. Um, but we do need to get them back to our shipyards. So let's at least get everybody moving and then we can kind of micromanage where they go specifically after that you and not you and not you and speaking of this one um we are in position up here to go ahead and invade these guys and uh make them our vassal so we'll do that here in a second um but let's get everybody least headed to this point except for you because you're on a mission so we can set up a jump gate here cool all right so close all of that out and did we yep trend oceans are now our tributary as well all right, so everybody's going to get moving. Let's go ahead and kick this war off so we can get it over with. All right. Um, man, tributes. Confirm. 
say no. Are they independence guaranteed by anybody? J just to be safe here. All right, cool. Declare war. Tributary vassal. Tributary, you know what, vassal. Lost to war. Lost to war. Turn red. There we go. And go. That should go very quickly. All right, everybody's moving back. Let's take a look. Number one, uh, it was mentioned in the comments that, hey, number one, Starforge takes forever. Number two, there's no pop-up to let you know when it's done. So here we are. It's done. Um, let's upgrade for, what is that, 10,000 alloys? Yeah, let's get that going. Okay, cool. So thank you to the commenter who left that. Uh, I don't specifically remember who it was, uh, but thank you very much. Yeah, man. Oh, you know what? I should probably. Yeah, we blocked this system because there were enemy fleets in the area. We need to unblock that. So I think that's going to affect our fleet's pathing. Unblock. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, everybody's coming back. This is going to be hopefully a quick route up here. Uh, it's the fleet's first taste of action. This is the one we just built a little while ago. So hopefully this goes fairly easily. And they've got what? One, two planets in here. Three, three planets. Okay, well, that's going to be fine. All right, yeah, we should absolutely wipe that. And all of a sudden, we're negative on Tabana gas. And that's probably because we started... Spamming is probably too strong of a word. Um, but we started building a bunch of um, laser cell production. And yeah, check that out. We went from, I don't know, 70,000 in storage for alloys to 141. Just like that. Um, same across the board. So we're going to start banking a lot of these resources. A lot of these resources. So that's going to be a very good thing for us in the Several long run. Civilizations have joined together. Oh, have they? Okay, so Honorable Union of Star Nations has been voted to form an alliance. The Bothans and the Mon... Oh. Man, Bothans, you just cannot stay out of our way, guys. Because, yeah, we're going to have to take that. Mm -hmm. We're going to go refit, and then I think we're going to come knock that alliance out. Um, better that they joined the Bothans and turned that nasty color of brown uh, than anybody else. Um, okay, so we want to make sure that we are still funding these guys. And I do have a monthly setup on this, right? Yes. Still giving them alloys, laser cells, plasma cells, uh, and starfighter parts. But that's good. Not going to give them anything in bulk. I think we do want to go ahead and give. I think we're already giving the Zabrit Council? No, we're not. We are not. But I do think we want to go ahead and do a monthly trade with these guys. Um, plus three. Though. Yeah, you know what? Let's leave. Let, let's not. Let's not. I think I'm comfortable where we're at right now with our production of everything. Um, so we'll be all right. We will be all right. Fleets are returning. Let's finally take a look at those ship designs uh, and see if they are what we want to do. Now, let's start with our biggest ships here. Currently running weapon generator on here, um, which is giving them our hit points. Oh, and ships weapon damage plus 8%. Is there anything else we want to swap this out to? This would be what? Fire, fire rate plus 8%. Honestly, I wonder if we need to... Yeah, let's swap that guy out. More damage. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, no, yeah, that's that's fine. No, that's fine. That generates 950. That would be enough. And it's ship weapons damage plus one. Ship pull points plus four. Plus 405. 405. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to drop that on there. Yeah, there we go. What about you? Okay, 
So ship weapons range plus 20 and armor hit points plus one. It's a tier two, so how about you? Chance to evade, nah, we don't want to throw that on you. Um, sub light speed and armor point, no. I think we're good on that. All right, here. So shield hit points plus six and armor plus one. Daily shield regen. I wonder if that's something we want to grab. Uh, 8%, 1%. Shield hit points armor. Yeah, let's drop you on there, actually, because we want this tanky as hell. Drop that. Uh, you are fine, and then you... Hyper Drive Booster. I think that's all we want. Yeah, I'm good with the FTL speed boost on that. Okay, so we'll save that. Um, let's get going on down the line here. So, ship weapons damage. We do need to keep in mind power here. For you guys... Um, six shield, one armor. I kind of like going with the more armor. That being said, I think the weakest thing in the game at this point is potentially enemy weapons against shields. So more shields, I think, is better. So I think that's what we're going to stick with Um, for, for this guy. Um, All this actually looks pretty good. That's literally just giving us armor hit points. Okay. I swapped that out for a fire control. And not. Okay, so. Let's actually grab you. Drop you here. Oh, that doesn't get us back to positive. Crap. Um. What about a weapon generator? Does that actually drop us? That does. Shoot. Okay. Well. That gets us there, and then can I do one fire control at least? No, I cannot. Um, maybe if I drop one of these? Nah, you know what? That's gonna be fine. Uh, let's swap you back in. I think that was okay. Okay, come on, game. Come on. Keep up here. That gets us, yeah, that gets us back positive. Okay. Um, let's actually auto complete and save just in case there's other, other upgrades. Um, we still have not got tier three bombers. Am I, am I wrong to think we should have gotten tier three bombers by now? We're all the way up to tier four fighters, but anyways, um, okay. Aggressors. I, you know what? I think we're pretty good here, but what we may want to look at more specifically is going to be our Corvettes. Uh, and potentially our frigates, actually. If we can drop a little bit of a chance to evade on here. There's evasion plus four. Do we have anything higher than that? Light speed plus 12. Chance to evade plus six. Can we run that? We can. Uh, armor hit points plus one. Now this we may not be able to do. I pop you in there. I can. So then could I potentially pop you in there? Can. Okay. Here we go. Um, so we gave this guy a little bit more damage and a better chance to evade, which is good because I think these guys bull rush in uh, and just run into whatever they come across. Um, you guys. Yeah, you need you need some love in here too. Uh, you're only plus 116. I don't want armor penetration on you. I don't think that matters. Um, but what I do want... Damage... Full points... Um... Really fire control. Yep, that still is positive. And then you... Chance to evade plus six. Okay, so I think that is... The best we can do on. So, we'll save that. It's gonna be fine. Uh, and you're the other one? Yes. Okay, can we swap you out? That's literally plus one armor points. Um, damage? We can. You. 
Field hit points plus six. A shield regen. You know, I kind of like the idea of regen on these guys. And we're in the positive. All right, now. Can we... I think we're good on that, though. Maybe we'll swap that out for that. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. All right, we'll do that. Um, Any other ships we use pretty heavily that we want to do this on? I mean, we want you guys with a with a heavy chance to evade. So we need to drop you on there. Uh, you probably want to just go for survivability on this guy, uh, which would mean potentially bulkhead. Uh, and then here we had uh, high capacity power four. It don't really want fire control. Honestly, I'm tempted to grab the bulkhead on both of these and just go for survivability. Because I don't think it really matters if you're doing damage or not, because all you're there is to keep the enemy fleet um, in position. Um, okay, how about our missile cruisers? Apparently, there was some sort of upgrade we needed to do. Um. Yeah, arm yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, weapons damage. Yep, and yep. Um, here, complaining. Yeah, armor. Maybe we get some more shields on this. Let's drop some shields. That'll be fine. Cause like I said, I I'm pretty sure shields is what everybody is weak against, if we're being quite honest with ourselves. Um a lot of power on this guy and I'd like to boost his weapons so honestly we'll probably run more of these all right drop you and drop you um and yeah there we go auto complete save um that's looking good I think and then here we can probably drop this because we got a lot of power going on on this guy And for some reason, don't have upgraded fighters. Apparently. That's weird. I don't think we have any of these guys built. Um, but it's gonna be okay. Alright, sweet. Um, we finished. What did we finish? Weapons production base. Okay, so we can get all that boosted, which is gonna be a good thing. Um, heavy bulkhead, kinetic weapons damage plus five. That's gonna be good for us. Um... Weapons production headquarters. Yes, sir. Going full absolute war footing. Uh, governor has gained a level. The current Senate has joined. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, look at all that red. If only we hadn't released the Mon Cal. Uh, okay. So, we are in position over here. Oh, you know what I forgot about? <laughs> Oops. at you forgot to send you in there oops yeah oh well okay now we are going to be taking this so that we can jump in and claim it and well hopefully claim it crap all right we're not going to do it until i know we've got enough influence so if i do this yeah i can't okay i think that's going to cost at least 250 i'm fairly confident it will um, the one up here, I know, I'm trying to remember, I should probably go back and look, but I know this was in the two, maybe three hundreds, and I don't want to pop that because these guys could go and claim it. So we're going to sit on that. You're going to chill here and that's, that's going to be okay. Um, a lot of our fleets are actually arriving. So that's okay, I guess. Um, let's get you... you to our shipyards so let's get you over there let's get you over there get you over there you go ahead and head up 
Right, that's that's you. No. You're almost there. You're just gonna go back to Mandalore. That's gonna be fine. You're gonna go back to Mandalore. You go to Mandalore. You probably head up here. And you guys are hanging out and you're up there. Okay, sweet. So once they get all in place, we'll get them upgraded. Um, we're sending you in to invade. Should go fairly quickly. Negative 91, and that should go down, yeah, very fast. Hypercurrent Senate, that's fine. Um, well, hopefully it's not heavily defended. Oh, it's decently defended. Okay. Uh, where's my fleet? There's my fleet. Alright, let's go... Bombard. Could I really upgrade over here? Okay, that's funny. That's kind of funny. Um, you're eight thirty. Wow, you guys have really built up. Good for you. Alright, that one's not defended. So we're gonna go actually land there. Uh, and take care of that. It does seem like we need to send another army up there. So let's send reinforcements, which I didn't did not move last time. Alright, you guys. Get up there. It's gonna take you a minute. Um, but it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Um, we also do need to do our army refit. I don't know what you call it. Refit. Um, re rebalancing. Potentially rebalancing. Yeah, look at that storage all the way up to two hundred thirteen. Yeah, we're good to go. We're good to go on all that. Uh, fleet command limit. Very good. Uh, leader lifespan. Resource source jobs. I kind of like leader lifespan. Let's grab that. The banner has gone negative. That being said, we do have uh, a couple of cloud cities going. Um, I do want to make sure that we run population boost here. Um, so we get that a little bit quicker so we can get these jobs filled out. Um, speaking of which, we are going to need more jobs as soon as the next uh, worker is done. So let's go ahead and get of these guys queued up and actually let's queue two of them up and be done with that there um same thing over here oh yeah we haven't built this yet because we're waiting on the influence yeah this is gonna be more important than that star base isn't it or uh the uh, jump gate rather yeah build megastructure cloud city yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay so should have been paying more attention to that, unfortunately. Um, but it's gonna be okay. They're invading up there, that's fine. And I'm surprised how much they have built up their defenses. I mean, 495 ain't bad, it's the other 800 that... Are you... Bombarding? Please tell me you are. Um, yeah, let's go indiscriminate. That's fine. It's fine. We'll bombard them into oblivion. I got no problem with that. Uh, invasion is over. Okay, we'll let that sit for a minute. Uh, that'll be fine. No worries on that. Ships are getting put into place. So we do have a little bit of naval cap. Or not naval cap, I'm sorry. Um, fleet cap with these guys. But let's go ahead and reinforce everybody. Needs to be reinforced. Hopefully we're good to go on everything. You're already repairing, so good for you. Uh, reinforce. And then, yeah, you're bombarding. Okay. So. Or wants to buy up a bunch of Tabana gas. We'll see how cheap it is here in a second. Um, shield hit points boost, very good. And iron weapons damage plus five percent. Don't even care what the rest of it is. Oh, <laughs> wow, really? Okay. Now you surrendered, and I invaded one of your planets. One of your planets. Okay, that's fine. Um, 
Where is that army that I sent? Not you. Is it you? Now, but we do need to get all these guys back, so... Let's send everybody home. Cool. So armies are coming home. Um, our fleets are getting repaired. They are being upgraded. And then I think that you, you come down to, and we need a shipyard potentially up here in the north. No, you know what? I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Um, Get down there. Yeah, you'll get there. Boom. Jump over. You'll upgrade here. That'll be good to go. Okay, cool. Um, you've arrived on location. Let's get you upgrading. Let's get you upgrading. Hopefully it makes a little bit of a difference, uh, if not very much. Um, I think it'll make somewhat of a difference, but I mean, we'll we'll have to see. Okay, so planning out our next excursion um, slash war. It's got to be got to be the Trade Federation, right? I mean, I, I would like to poke the Rebel Alliance. Would like to poke them. How did the Saturic hegemony take that territory? What? <laughs> they have been hanging on by the skin of their. Oh, man, that's crazy crazy okay you they're economically equivalent to us um ai attitude is decreasing fine especially if we're gonna hit him at some point um let's make sure this guy is upgraded fully like fully reinforced and he's not um so let's draw gun batteries um, let's drop at, uh, here we need to build, oh, and we can't because it's not big enough yet. Uh, what do we have to have for a gravity wheel generator? Like what size? Um, planetary capital. Okay. So it's going to be a couple of upgrades before we can do that. So what we need to do is actually drop a gravity wheel generator here gonna need to do that uh and then oops fences for a bunch of our battle stations in here uh we need to make sure that that is well defended um in case we do go to war over here um you should be good to go yes you are no upgrades needed let's just double check our border over here um you are good to go Right, we got some upgrades to do, so let's do that. We'll let the game run while we're doing it. I do think potentially we need to. Yeah, once we get the FTL inhibitor, I think we should be fine here. My concern is that if they break through this one, two, and they're in Mandalore, there is no defenses here. The only thing that might save us. Yeah, let's. Heck yeah, let's drop the gravity wheel generator here. Um, then they can defeat that station all they want. They can't get through the system until they invade the planet. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call. Uh, and it is a thousand. So hopefully the turbo lasers help that. Um, orbital defense cannon should help a little bit. And honestly, we should be able to drop. Is it a precinct house? Uh, there's one that's like a police academy sort of thing that is going to let us spawn additional defense armies. But you know what? We just recruit some. We can recruit some. Um, so let's get some jet warriors here. We'll just land them back on the ground. Uh, and then... A couple of gunships. Artillery. Uh, and... Some tanks. I think that'll be good. We'll reinforce it on the ground there. And that'll kind of be our defensive line. 
Um, I think we ought to do that on Gargon as well. Um, are you... Can you build it? Yes, you can. All right, we're going to build all of this stuff up. And my idea here is to make a... I guess a defensive barrier, a defensive circle um, around, around Mandalore. Uh, even though there's not stations there. Um, yeah, we're just going to spam all of this. Just going to build it all up. Um, yep, gravity well generator is going to go in there too. So we'll double it up. This will be a good defensive system. We'll have two planets uh, with gravity well generators. So they'll have to invade both um, before they are able to get through the system. 992. 1000. So we'll see what that is after we get those turbo lasers up. Uh, and we'll get that going. All right, so here, you're still building that up. Okay. Um, nope, not a missile battery. That's not what I want. I want a gun battery. Here, gravity well. Um, ah, screw it. We'll go synthetic hyperfuel refinery. That'll be fine. So, I think we've got a good plan for Mandalore's defense here. I don't really know if we need to build these defensive systems up. I kind of like the idea from an RP perspective of continuing to upgrade this guy to defend the Starforge. If, like, let's say Mandalore falls, right? At least we'll still have the Starforge. And we'll still be able to build ships. Um, so we need to defend the hell out of this. And honestly, I think I mentioned it before, um, but I kind of like the idea of having some sort of standing defense fleet here just to hold that territory. Uh, I kind of like the idea of that question I have for you yet question I have. There is a we'll call it a small hole in our defenses here. Being all we have in this system is this defensive station granted 445,000 with a FTL inhibitor. But if that station gets taken out once again, boom, straight into Mandalore. At least over here, there's a fallback point. Um, they'll have to invade some planets. Um, same thing if they break through this way. Inhibitor off the fall through, break some planets. Um, and you know what? Speaking of that, I think honestly some of you guys may have mentioned this uh, in prior episodes. But to not only have the FTL inhibitors in the border systems but to put it on random planets so that they have to invade them, right? Um, so here, for example, we don't have a garrison, which is interesting. Um, let's trap a gravity well on a turbo laser. Just so let's say they break through here. They got to get through that. They got to invade that. And essentially, it would be a way to slow them down. Um, same thing here. Like, geyser. Ooh, we don't have the room. That's unfortunate. I have you. I do not have you cleared up for planetary growth. Okay, planetary growth. Go. So yeah, so we might go through and do a bunch of those gravity well generators um, on our planets just to potentially slow them down. Was I gonna? Oh hey, there's Tabana gas there. Um, you go. Probably ought to build that. I don't know how I missed that before. You were good to go on the number up here, and you are how far into this? Eight. <laughs> Eighteen percent. Um, do we still have that eat it going? Yes, we do. Uh, 8162 is when it's going to end, so we should be good on that for quite a while. Quite a while. Okay, we're up to 243 over here. I think it's time we dive in and take these guys out. Uh, and that should free up them because it does seem like the AI will come into these pirate systems every once in a while and just kind of stop, <laughs> which is strange. And I don't know what would be causing that. But uh, yeah, here we are. OK, so we'll go in. We'll take this out. And you know what? Honestly, I think it's about time we end the episode. So we'll pick up next episode with us uh, taking out these pirates and then hopefully, fingers crossed, having enough influence to claim it. Uh, and yeah, we'll kind of go from there. Let me know your thoughts on everything down in the comments. Um, I'm going to 
do this right here. Uh, if you want to pause, let me know where you think we ought to drop um, FTL inhibitors or gravity well generators on planets here. Uh, keep in mind, if there's a circle, there is a planet in the system. So let me know where you think we ought to do that. Uh, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.